I'm Tim Hart Anderson, the senior pastor at Westminster Presbyterian Church in beautiful downtown Minneapolis. Our congregation built a facility here in the late 19th century and lovely building, but not exactly energy efficient. In 2018, we built a new facility and opened it just three years ago. And this facility is designed to help us as a congregation be good stewards of the earth. How do we do that? Well, we have a green roof, growing plants on the roofs all around me up here. We have stormwater tanks below the ground that receive all the water that falls on our building and then pump it back up to water the roofs and everything else growing on the site and, and to circulate in our fountain out front, a demonstration project of how to do good public stewardship of resources in a building like a big downtown church. We have other things too. We have a bicycle support station in our garage below grade underground in order to encourage our members and our staff to commute when possible by bike and hang their bikes up there and do some work on them and pump the tires. We're committed to take the words of Genesis to be good stewards of God's creation. We're committed to take those words and, and make them real in, in action that, that demonstrates our commitment to the stewardship of God's creation. We're gonna show you a few other ways that the ministries of this downtown congregation are working hard to be good stewards of the earth. Thanks for being here up on the roof with me at Westminster. Hi, I'm Rick Person, longtime Westminster member and member of our uh, eco-justice ministry team. Westminster became an earth care congregation in uh, 2012, which is a program of the uh, Presbyterian Church USA and now has 265 members nationwide. Uh, certification requires uh, each church to adopt the um, Earth Care Pledge and to engage annually in programming in the areas of worship, uh, outreach and education, advocacy, and facilities management. Westminster leads a group of 10 Earth Care congregations in the Presbytery of the Twin Cities area. And I am uh, Westminster's and uh, uh, the Presbytery's representative to the National Presbyterians for Earth Care Steering Committee, uh, which is an advocacy and uh, outreach uh, affiliate of the Presbyterian Church USA. Hello, my name is Sandy Wolfwood and I currently chair Westminster's Eco Justice Ministry Team. A few years ago, Westminster Session adopted a Hope for the World statement, a statement that laid out the kind of world that we want to see. And key to that vision was sustainability. Sustainability built on environmental justice, on social justice, and on racial justice. At Westminster, all of these are individual ministry teams under a Faith in Action Council, but at, in Eco Justice, we think all of those are critical to the work that we do. All of the conservation measures that Tim just highlighted were first steps in our walk toward carbon neutrality. Those building improvements serve two purposes. They steward resources and they model what we hope our congregation and the surrounding community will do at home. Along with those efforts, we work in tandem with others to advocate for issues like indigenous empowerment and clean water, particularly the Line 3 pipeline in northern Minnesota and heavy metal mining in the Boundary Waters Canoe area. Our voices collectively do matter. Helping others learn to live more sustainably is a key part of our mission. We regularly host forums with local and national voices to challenge existing paradigms. Just two years ago, we collaborated with Westminster's Town Hall Forum to bring climate activist and 350.org founder Bill McKibben uh, to speak on climate change. One of our ongoing projects is expanding our solar capacity. Starting in 2019, Westminster's electricity came from a solar garden. Following completion of our new building, though, our energy needs expanded, and we were starting to look for new ways to address that issue. This opened the door to new ways of thinking about our responsibility to our neighbors. How can we make clean energy affordable to others, particularly those in low-income communities? I'll turn it over to Elena now to talk a little bit more about this emerging concept. Thank you, Rick and Sandy. I am Elena Simone Tyler, and I serve as Associate Pastor for Justice and Mission here at Westminster Presbyterian Church. I get to 
partner in ministry with both the Eco Justice team and the Social Justice Ministry team. In January of this year, Sam Grant from Minnesota350.org joined us for a social justice forum. During that forum, he invited the congregation to develop relationships with institutions led by and dedicated to black, indigenous, and people of color. From such organizations, we learn about the disproportionate harm of environmental injustice, and we learn about the opportunities to address those harms. With Sam's counsel in our hearts and minds, as Westminster is considering how to expand our solar capacity, we will be discerning opportunities for our added solar energy to help black, indigenous, and people of color communities. We are excited to see where the spirit will guide us. Thank you for your support of Westminster and of Eco Justice Ministry here in our building and well beyond. Being good stewards of God's creation is integral to who we are at Westminster as a community of faith and who we are as Christians. I'm back up here on the green roof to encourage you to join us in this ministry of caring for God's good creation.